Good day everyone, this is Tim and I hope you're doing well. This is a rainy day in Malaysia, a little bit of thunder and lightning, but it's not always like this. Uh, this morning it was nice and gorgeous with a beautiful sunrise and I guess the weather in Malaysia is a little bit of ups and downs. One minute it is sunny and hot and the next it is rainy and hot. So thank you so much for joining. We are uh, about to embark on a bit of an adventure. Uh, I booked this flight to Asia uh, about a year ago. Uh, it was on a seat sale about $600 from Canada to Singapore and Indonesia and then back. And uh, with work being so busy, I had no time to plan. So this is a bit of a spur of the moment, hoping to come here to visit old friends like Lauren's and also to meet and make new friends. And thank you so much for keeping me company. I hope we can uh, have a bit of an adventure together. And uh, it is a bit of an adventure because I was not supposed to be in Malaysia. I was uh, flying into Singapore, beautiful airport there. And while I was supposed to be in Singapore, I am here in Malaysia and that kind of speaks to the planning or lack thereof. Uh, I usually use Wyndham as a hotel to to stay at and because they have a lot of facilities, laundry and such. And I typed in Singapore for the destination and I saw a really high priced hotel and a really low priced hotel. And I certainly went for the low price and I didn't realize it was in Malaysia, right between the Singapore Malaysia border until after the arrival. And it wasn't too bad. I took a coach from Singapore airport all the way to the checkpoint in Malaysia. And then finally arriving late at night in the hotel and it wasn't bad for $30, a huge room, beautiful working area, a living space and a kitchen as well. And while I should be going to sleep, I couldn't resist because right next door was an open market cafe, lots of good food, lots of good people. And uh, I had to partake. So I got a little bit of a rest and I'm still a little bit jet lagged. And this is kind of the afternoon and I'm just waiting for the, uh, for the rain to stop. And I'm pretty excited because I heard there was a fantastic buffet here and I heard this from the locals. The hotel also included a breakfast buffet and this morning it was quite a spread. And I got a chance to ask Rule and Chef Adam for some suggestions and they recommended going to the Renaissance Hotel at their Cafe BLD. I heard there was a fantastic spread there representing Malaysian, Singapore, Indian and all the wonderful cuisines there. So I can't wait to give it a try and I'm just going to wait until the rain settles uh, within a couple of hours and then it'll be dinner time. But until then, uh, I hope you're getting hungry and uh, I'll leave you with this wonderful rainy view of Malaysia. And I forgot to mention that this hotel was a bit out of the way near Legoland but away from the city center. So a quick Uber ride or in here, this is Grab and quick being 30 minutes or so and we have arrived and the sun is out. This is the Renaissance Hotel and the sun is setting and just in time and actually we're a little late for dinner. Uh, come on, uh, let's go inside. So really cool here, a column of fish and I think that is a harbinger of what's to come. I think the buffet is this way and just a little bit of a line but it's moving quickly. Oh, hi Aisha. Hi. hi, thank you so much. I got my ticket. Thank you. All right. All right. Thank you, Jenny. So I'm looking at all the seafood on the right. And is this my table? Oh, thank you so much. So I think I got one of the better seats in the restaurant being so close to the buffet right back there. And I see a lot of people already at it and uh, this is my seat and you know how I can tell because it has my name on it. So really cool here and this is a weekend. So it's Friday, Saturday and it's about $35, but normally it's about 15 and change. So pretty good deal. And I got a chance to look at the buffet here and uh, it's, it's not just inside, it's also outside with the wonderful barbecues. And at the time people were working hard and that is a wonderful roasted lamb that hopefully is nice and tender on the inside and crispy on the outside. And with all that talk of food, uh, I think we better get started. Uh, come on, let's go. A little bit hard to figure out where to start, but I think this would be as good a place as any as all the hardworking folks here are keeping the buffet nicely soft. Beautiful seafood station, let's see. All right, so we've got some crabs, some oysters, some shrimp. Oh, beautiful scallops. I can't say no to the scallops. A little bit here and another one. Let's see, a little bit of clams. 
right over here. I think we can try some oysters. So not too much left, but they keep these things replenished. And number two, and then maybe a couple of shrimp right over here. And that's looking like a pretty good seafood plate. And I'll skip the crabs as it's too much work. And let's see what else do we have. A beautiful salad station. So luckily they don't waste a lot of room on the salads. And what they do have is pretty spectacular. A beautiful shrimp seafood salad here with a potato salad Lebanese style and this is pretty neat a roasted lamb salad got to give it a try and as far as salad goes it actually looks pretty good let's see beautiful spreads coming up lots of hummus and my favorite the baba ganoush a little bit here and next to it, I think this is a cheese. And now we move on to the sushi station. Hello, this looks lovely. Oh, what are these? Oh, octopus. So one octopus left. And let's give it a try. And let's see some other rolls here. I think this is a veggie roll. And I think this is, looks like seafood. Let's see. And then something crispy and crunchy. Right over here. And I think you have your own sashimi station here. As this is not sashimi, beautiful salmon. But I think the sashimi is made to order. Oh, hi there. Oh, the sashimi looks so good. Can I have some uh, assorted sashimi? Uh, how about salmon and tuna, no butterfish. And again, thank you for all the suggestions about staying away from the butterfish. Really tasty, but uh, might be uh, an issue if you eat too much. Oh, thank you so much. It is really nice to be back at your table and uh, again, finding something new in the form of a coconut. The oh, beautiful coconut water. Can't wait to give it a try. Oh, that's so refreshing. Nice and chill, but not too cold. And a little bit of a hint of sweetness. Mm. Very good start. And uh, for a better start, let's try the seafood here. So we have some oysters, some shrimp, a little bit of clams. And I think we'll try a little bit of the scallops first with a bit of sauce. And I think they always have uh, the, uh, the liver here which is edible. It looks really good. Mm. And tastes even better. Scallop is nice and fresh. And this little, I think this is the liver. Really tasty, really soft. And the wonderful uh, scallop meat in there. Mm. Very nice. And before it gets too warm, let's try the oysters with a little bit of sauce. Ah, perfect. Mm. Mm. Oyster is nice and fresh. But as good as it is, I'm going to try the salad. This is the roast lamb salad. And I think we have a bed of pita to support it. Ah, there we go. Mm. Oh, that is so flavorful. The lamb is perfectly spiced and really fresh with the pops of the tomato on a crunchy foundation. Mm. Very nice and a mouthful. And now for my favorite salad, a little bit of potato and a little bit of shrimp. Potato salad, Lebanese style.
Mm, not bad. Nothing wrong with perfectly cooked potatoes and fresh, sweet shrimp. And while we still have the pita left, we need to make good use of it with a little bit of baba ganoush, a little bit of cheese right here. Mm. Very nice. And I do have to try the octopus sushi. A little bit of soy. Mm. Octopus is fresh, nicely seasoned, wonderful aroma of sesame oil and the sesame seeds. Mm. Very good. So I'll finish off, I guess, the appetizer round. It's a mouthful, but I'll finish this off and I'll um, take it back for the mains. So refreshing and heavy. First round certainly didn't disappoint. The salmon sashimi was nice and fresh. And a fried pita chip with the baba ganoush and some salmon, absolutely delicious. And now we need to go for round two for the hot food. And I think there is a roasted lamb out in the back. Come on, let's go check it out. It's so hard to pass up all this good food, especially with the noodle station over there. But we are heading out that way for the barbecue. Just gonna grab a plate. At the start of the buffet, they had the roasted lamb here, and I think the remnants of the lamb is right there. All right, look at this. I think this is the belly of the lamb. And that is a big piece, and maybe one with a little bit of fat right over here, with a little bit of the juice. And I can feel the heat being given off from uh, where the lamb was cooking. And let's see, let's start from the very end. Got some freshwater prawns. They look massive. And uh, let's see, let's go for one of these. Next to the lamb. And this is barbecue mutton. I think I will skip that, but I will go for the sauces. This is a wonderful tahini sauce. And this is a garlic, this is a garlic yogurt sauce or what's left of it. But let's not, let any go to waste. Next to the lamb, five cc's, and I think that's all I need. All right, let's see. It is getting warm here. It is quite humid and smoky in a good way. All right, so this is the kafka, so the kebab. Okay, a little bit here. Oh, look at this. Right here. And then this, I believe, is chicken. And it is being grilled up over there. Thank you, chef. All right, what do we have here? That is a beautifully rolled shawarma. I'll show you later and let's see. This is where the shawarma was made. Oh, thank you, chef. Okay, it is getting hot, but we have made it to the satay station. And while the satay station is empty, that's because they're popular. Chef is behind cooking up some wonderful satay. And while we wait for that, let's see what we have. Okay, this, I am not sure what this is, but it smells absolutely wonderful. And I'm not sure if it's from this or all the barbecue here, but let's give this a try. Ah, I think this may be taro. Just one. And the satay sauce. Again, like the yogurt sauce, it is running low. That's okay. I'll put some here in preparation for the wonderful skewers. Oh, thank you. So oh, let's go for one and two and maybe one more. It was hot outside and as hot as I was, I can't imagine uh, chefs back there working the grill and all the hot charcoal. And let's see what else we have inside where it's nicely air conditioned. So passing by the noodle station, which I'll need to come back for. And look at this. This is something I want to try. This is lamb, I'm trying to pronounce that right, but I think it is pronounced capsa rice, lamb capsa rice and a giant 
bean basket here. Oh my goodness. A little bit of this. And I think with the roast, woo. And I think with the roast lamb we have, this would be a perfect substrate for that. And a little bit of a sauce, I think maybe a chutney of some sort. And we have the cloche's neck. And are we off to a good start? Well, kind of. This is vegetables, but this is getting better with the lamb. Some stewed lamb and radish. And let's see what's under here. Uh, rings of squid. But this is looking pretty nice. Some Mekong chicken. And as always, as good as a chicken is, I think it is a gravy that makes a difference. So let's get the wing and a lot of sauce drenched over the chicken. Oh, and these are the remnants of the river prawns, but I did get a chance to see it and they were ginormous. So if it's out, uh, that's okay. Wait a few seconds and it'll return. And let's see, okay. Sayer Lode, I hope I'm saying that right, but let's give it a try. Eggplant. This is a snapper. Oh, nicely fried. And again, the beautiful sauces. And the plate is getting messy. Oh, thank you. And of course, a few seconds has passed and the river prawns have arrived. I wasn't kidding when I said they were massive. Let's give them a try. Okay, okay. prawn number one. And prawn number two. All right, and finally, I think we have a little bit of beef. Oh, and a lot of lemongrass right over here. And that is the finale to my really messy plate here. I am so glad to have a little bit of rice with the roasted lamb. And I think before it gets too cold, let's try the satay. Bit of a reach and the wonderful satay sauce. Mm. Oh, the meats are barbecued wonderfully. Nice caramelization from the charring. And of course, the saute sauce makes all the difference. Mm. Very tasty. And let me show you how well that shawarma is rolled. Lots of chicken, little bit of veggies, and lots of sauce. Nothing like a fresh shawarma, dripping with the wonderful juices of the chicken. Always a little bit messy. Mm. And a mouthful. Mm. Much needed, and before it gets too cold, you gotta try the lamb. And it is a bit of a reach. But I think this is the rib part, so a little bit of fat for the tenderness and some sauce. Give this a try. Oh. That is so tender, beautifully cooked, nice and succulent, still juicy. And I think maybe a little bit of rice underneath or on top will make the perfect bite. Mm. And it does. And I gotta start digging in to, I think these are the river prawns. Give that a try. A little bit of a twist, and these are huge. Mm. So it might look a little bit strange eating the head of the shrimp, but this is actually really tasty. Mm. Very nice. And let's go for the actual meat of the shrimp. And I can already see that sauce or that coating is so flavorful. Mm. Oh. Very nice. Soak up a little bit more sauce. Mm. I do need to try a little bit of the kafka on a little bit of the lamb rice. Let's see, a little bit of the sauce. There we go. 
Mm. Very nice. So there's still a lot more stations I haven't tried. So again, I'm going to finish this up and then we'll see what else is next. But for now, the satay is so good. Just going to polish that off first. I'm going to take you back. That was a lot of food and a lot of meat and seafood as well. The fried snapper was absolutely delicious. Nothing like a wonderfully fried fish in an herbaceous dry sauce, maybe a little bit too herbaceous. And of course the Mekong chicken, it's really the gravy that makes a difference. A little bit of rice and it's perfect. And remember that white taro object that uh, I couldn't figure out what it was? Well, it wasn't taro. Not too much flavor, but a little bit of satay sauce makes it all better. And I think satay sauce always makes things a little bit better. And with that, I think I am gonna go wrap it up, uh, maybe with a nice bowl of noodles. Come on, let's check it out. Okay, so this is a noodle station. And I think these are the suggestions. I'm definitely gonna go for the mee curry, but I think there's a whole section that I miss. So I'm gonna come back for the noodles later. And oh, I see a chef cooking up a storm with the river prawns. Oh, thank you, Chef Hussein. So really nice to see all the hardworking folks uh, keeping everything stocked up. And this is a section that I missed with the beautiful Indian food and the dal. And let's see, another row of cloches. And didn't mean to steam you up there. Some more Lebanese potatoes. And what is this? I think this is a little bit of fish. So some more seafood next to the potatoes and more lamb. And this is a lamb in curry. Let's see what's under this cloth. Okay, so that is chicken. And as much as I wanna have some, I think I'm getting a little too full. Some pizza, but I think too much bread. Oh. Oh, thank you, chef. Oh, and as full as I am, how can you say no to the fresh pizza right out of the oven? Let's see. Go for one. Thank you again. Oh, oh, and moving on. Oh, here we go. Under the cloth here is a little bit of naan. So I think some naan with the pizza. And we need the naan because we have beautiful dal with so much onions and spices. Just a little bit. And moving on. Okay, a wonderful butter chicken. But instead of chicken, this is paneer next to the naan where it'll be picked up. This is chickpea masala, a little bit. And then finally, uh, some rice, but I think I'm gonna skip the rice for the noodles. And it's always nice to have a detour. This is tandoori chicken, but I'm gonna skip that for some sea bass. And uh, I think, Oh, this looks wonderful. And as good as the fish is, of course, it is a sauce next to the steam fish. So finally, we are at the noodles. And unfortunately, there's so many to choose from. I'm going to go with the rice noodles, something nice and light. And let's see what we have for the toppings. Not in the mood for mushrooms, but I think a little bit of Napa cabbage right here. A little bit of fish cake, maybe one more. I think these are chicken meatballs. Some beef meatballs and a little bit of green for decoration. Hi, Chef Sylvie. Hi. Can I uh, get some noodles with the meat curry? Okay, okay. All right. Oh, thank you. Oh. Oh, thank you, Chef. Okay. All right, I think this is all I can handle. And it's nice to have something warm and comforting and an arsenal of eating equipment. And let's give it a try before the noodles get cold. Stay in. 
Oh, beautiful light vermicelli. And some meatballs. Mm. Wonderfully comforting curry broth is wonderful. Almost like a laksa, a little bit more spicy though. And a bit of fish cake. Mm. Very nice. Great to try the noodles, but before it gets cold, about to try the pizza when it was fresh out of the oven and it's been waiting a while. Mm. Still very good. This is lamb pizza, melty cheese, and a nice undercarriage. Mm. But I really want to dig in to that sea bass, especially with the wonderful sauce. A little two-handed chopsticks. Mm. Always a little bit of bone with the whole fish, but this is absolutely divine, especially the sauce. So when you're here, go for the lamb and also go for the sea bass, especially with an extra helping of the wonderful sauce. Mm. Very good. So again, I'm gonna finish this round and I saw a lot of desserts at the dessert station when it was nice and pristine and it looked pretty amazing. Hopefully it remains so. And uh, I think I need to finish this up uh, post taste and uh, we'll take you back for dessert. That was a lot of food and it's so nice to go for dessert and also see so many people celebrating. And I think this is a celebration as well because we have arrived at the table of desserts. All right, so hard to decide what to get. Let's see. I think we're starting off with some cakes with many layers of orange and nice small layers of coffee. Nice and small, so you can have many varieties. Oh, and mango right over here. And this is the most interesting Oreo cake I've seen. An Oreo cake in the form of strawberry and a big and that's a big slice. And the desserts are progressively getting bigger and bigger. A little bit of green matcha. And some sponge and a little bit of chocolate. I think I'm going to skip that. Let's see. This is a Linzer tort with strawberry and a strawberry cheesecake. Uh, and the classic apple pie. And I think with the apple pie, I see the ice cream and the line. We should go for the apple pie. Oh, a nice small slice on its side. So this has been a long night. I am tired. And so is a chocolate fountain, some warm rice pudding and tapioca pudding and churros. Always nice to have something sweet and crunchy, almost like a large version of the funnel cake. I think we'll just grab a small one here and let's see what's under here. Some bread pudding. And I have had enough bread for tonight. And oh, look at this. This is my favorite. This is Kanufa, I believe. And I remember having this at a wonderful Middle Eastern restaurant in Toronto. I would not mind having some more. There we go. And this is all Middle Eastern from the semolina pudding, to the baklava, to more cakes and pastries and more baklava. This is a snow cone maker. And as good as a snow cone is, let's have some frozen dessert, already made wonderful popsicles. But I think I'm gonna go for the ice cream. Okay, I think we have a little bit of cross contamination with the strawberry, with the uh, vanilla and the chocolate. Oh, or maybe not. 
thing there all together. And a twill to top it off. So maybe a little bit overdoing it with the dessert and it's always nice to find something new. I couldn't help resist getting this wonderful drink in a familiar shade of pink uh, for those in North America. This is the Syrup Bandang. I hope I'm saying it right. Let's give it a try. Very interesting flavors, very floral, a little bit of hint of rose. And uh, to me, it's uh, not to my taste. It's uh, nothing wrong with it. It tastes a little bit like soap. Or it reminds me of that way, but not very sweet. So uh, I think I'm gonna give this a pass. But one thing I will not pass up is the matcha cake. Dig into that with its many layers and it's just so soft. Oh. Wonderful cream cheese frosting and so many layers. Kind of like a red velvet cake except green. Mm. There's like red velvet cake matcha style. And let's go for some coffee in the form of cake. Mm. Very good. Again, nice and delicate, not very sweet. The sign of a good dessert. Oh, a little bit of walnuts in there too. And I can't wait to try the apple pie with a little bit of ice cream. Kind of uh, gravy, but in the context of dessert. Give that a try. If I can get them all together. Mm. Very nice and cold. Need a cup of coffee. Oh, much needed. And this is not coffee. This is a wonderful cup of masala chai. Nice and warm and comforting. Mm. So good. And I finally have to go for the cheesecake kunufa style. Nice crunchy outer layer and a nice cheesy middle layer. Knock it to the side. There we go. Mm, very nice. So this is Cafe BLD, Cafe Build, I guess, at the Renaissance Hotel. And it's kind of fortuitous that uh, I got located between near the border of Malaysia and Singapore. And my goodness, the dollar certain stre certainly stretches quite a bit on the Malaysia side. $35 for the buffet, 30, 35 and change. And with the roast lamb and all the seafood. And on the weekdays, I think it's like $15 and change. So really good deal here. So thank you so much for joining. And uh, thank you so much for uh, joining me as uh, we embark on this uh, little adventure here, a little travel and food adventure. So until we see each other again, uh, I hope you're keeping well. I hope you're eating well and traveling well. And with that, a little bit more chai. All the best to you and yours and God bless. Cheers. Mm.